With the, the roughly billion dollar in cuts over the last decade plus, uh, the system is so underfunded. At the same time, minimum wage in the state of California has gone up. Living wage ordinances are in many, many cities. The state funding system for development of dis disability service providers like GatePath did not accommodate for the state's own minimum wage increase, and they certainly don't accommodate living wage ordinance changes that every one of the service providers have to live with. And so right there, there's a huge uh, difference between what we have to pay our staff and what we're being reimbursed by the state of California. Right. So we essentially provide services at the behest of regional centers, which are funded by the state of California. That billion dollar gap is leading to a lot of agencies having to close because they can't afford to keep their doors, doors open. Uh, and I think what you're gonna see is if this small restoration of funding, again, a billion dollar difference between what we're asking and what was being paid 10 years ago, uh, we're asking for about a third of that back this year. So this is really a down payment, and that's an 8% rate increase. So the rate the state pays us to provide services for adults and children that we all care for uh, is a relatively modest ask when the state has a multi-billion dollar surplus. Historically, over the last four or five years, we've been the only health and human services sector in the state of California that has not received rate increases. Wow. We got a rate increase about three years ago, but it's only because a special tax was passed uh, <laughs> that Governor Brown insisted upon right. that we got relief funding. And that was not an ongoing increase. That was a one-time increase. The lump sum kind of The thing. lump sum thing that came in for that year. Uh, so the, the gap is pretty significant. Um, and again, a, a lot of this you know, is not that visible to the general public. Those of us who are providing service, parents that uh, have children that we serve, uh, are certainly aware of it, and it's it's a travesty. You know, we serve over 330,000 Californians, and the threat of services being killed because people can't afford to keep their doors open is is just tragic.